Are you prepared for this economic downturn and the massive wealth transfer? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So yes, right here to my right, beautiful, beautiful, and awesome, especially if you're a fan of baseball, Major League Baseball, you are looking at one of the greatest ever to play the sport. And while he was accused of um, using steroids and even admitted to using steroids, it does not take away from the immense talent that he had before the steroids because he was already a superstar before the steroids. The steroids just took him to the next level, and that's why baseball became so famous during the time because Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, all these individuals were putting on the show of a lifetime what baseball athletes had never done because they were doing steroids. And NFL, NBA, they're all doing steroids as well, but they took it much more serious with the major leagues, and to this day, they still do, and I respect it. But anyways... Mark McGuire, um, this is to honor the most home runs in a season, and it's actually 70 home runs, and uh, these are limited uh, batches, so here, this one is uh, 7,850, uh, very, very limited mint. Mark McGuire uh, was number 25 from the St. Louis Cardinals, and this was honoring him uh, going back September 27th, 1998, so 26 years ago. Um, considered to this day, as I said, um, the greatest sustained six-month uh, spectacle ever put on by any man in baseball history. Mark McGuire went beyond expectations, beyond rational baseball uh, possibilities, and into his own magnific magnificent twilight zone. So, awesome athlete. Would love to meet him someday. Um, and just super cool that I have this piece. I bought it a long time ago for a bargain. Um, now I'm seeing them go as low as $90 to $100 at the minimum. $90 to $100. Real quick, I want to give a very, very special shout out. And there's a comment from the other night. And this is to Captain uh, Clean. People need to understand collecting certain dates of certain coins won't matter because the silver content will be all there gathering and melting for the precious metal we're running out of. As far as constitutional silver, pre-1964 half quarters and dimes should only be saved for bartering when fiat collapses. Um, 1.40 in constitutional silver equals one ounce of silver. Great comment right there coming from Captain Clean. And uh, I do want to uh, discuss how, yes, you know, certain dates and these collector coins like this Mark McGuire piece and the other coin I'm going to discuss later. Yes, these are collector coins, but in real time, before this collapse hasn't happened, it's still profitable to have coins like this. So I get it. If... You know what hits the fan? Yes, these are these are going to go and be worth just like any any other ordinary silver. I agree with that. But for the time being, that hasn't happened yet. And if you can make money and you have coins like this that you got years ago for a bargain and you can make money on them, more power to you. And that, that's all I have to say because I do agree that constitutional silver is where it's at. That's where I make my money every month uh, mainly uh, because for the most part, I keep all of my, my ounces of silver. I'm always trading and selling um constitutional silver, which I've realized that's that's where the silver game is really at. Um, but going back to more relevant news, Warren Buffett just unloaded 50% of his Apple stock, signaling a significant shift in capital allocation for Berkshire Hathaway. The company now sits on over $200 billion in cash, a record amount. Why is this happening? It could be that major buying opportunities are on the horizon and Buffett is preparing to seize them. Similarly, Leon Black from Apollo sold 172 million in stock and he's not alone. 
Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Jamie Dimon are also unloading shares at an increasing pace. A string of high-profile CEOs and billionaires are selling off massive amounts of their company's stock, raising the question, why now? Why now in real time? The Dow has doubled in the last four years, with stocks reaching all-time highs. This suggests a higher likelihood of downside risk than upside gains. Many large companies are cutting costs, signaling a potential economic downturn that billionaires seem to be anticipating. Buffett's strategy hints at a preparation for higher taxes due to the national debt, which could increase significantly after the upcoming elections. The billionaires are liquidating their stock positions, possibly to avoid higher taxes and prepare for more attractive investment opportunities. This is where silver comes into play. As the company goes through major changes, silver remains a stable and valuable asset. Historically, precious metals like silver have been a safe haven during economic uh, instability. This surge in stock prices over the past few years, exemplified by Apple's rise from $60 to $219 and Tesla's from $34 to $200 has been phenomenal. However, this kind of rapid growth is often followed by a correction. And we're seeing these corrections. When insiders like the CEOs of major companies start selling their shares, it indicates that they are anticipating a downturn. By cashing out now, they are positioning themselves to invest in more stable assets or capitalize on future uh, opportunities. By following the lead of savvy investors who are dive, uh, <clears throat> pretty much diversifying, or I should say, getting out from stocks, we can see the wisdom is diversifying into assets like silver. This precious metal not only provides security, but also has potential for significant appreciation as market conditions evolve. And that's why I am not gonna stop uh, stacking silver. The same way I'm gonna continue to build my crypto portfolio, I will continue to build my precious metal portfolio as well. So boom, boom, boom. You are looking at the silver dad knows piece, AKA the JFK round. So I <clears throat> just want you to see right here, the front side of this uh, spectacular round provides a view from the moon with the earth visible off in the distance. The stylized text at the top reads Apollo 11 with the date of the landing, July 20th, 1969, just below. One of the astronauts' boots are shown walking across the lunar surface next to his footprints. The famous quote from Neil Armstrong reads, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Then my favorite side shows President John F. Kennedy, who very publicly announced the U.S.'s commitment to reach the moon before the end of the 1960s. And you see him, he's gazing skyward. On the right side of the design, the moon and stars are shown behind him while a shuttle is shown launching from the earth. I mean, just, just majestic. Um, both sides of the design use an eye appealing uh, proof finish, meaning that the relief devices are lightly frosted to stand out against uh, beautiful mirrored fields. I mean, just look at that. It is no wonder why this is my all-time favorite coin. This is the Silver Dad Nose coin. And just looking at it makes me want to get another one and add it to the collection. Just so you know, you can get these right now currently as low as $46, $48 bucks with free shipping. If you can get them that low, $46 to $48, remember, these are highly collectible. People are already paying upwards to $100 for them. So if you can get them as low as... As I said, $46, $48 with your shipping, jump on it because people are already buying them as high as $100 or more. And I know that because I sold one a couple months ago, a month ago for like 90 bucks. Get that, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But folks, 
Um, this was another evening of Silver Dad Knows. Thank you so much for, for tuning in as always. God bless you. God bless your household. And God bless America.